Lori, I have got to get outside. Can I come on over? Sure, head on over. Super duper. I'll see you soon. Now I've been to the studio before, so I know what you do, but do you want to tell everyone else? For the past 11 years, we've been here teaching people how to make their own natural bath and body products. Everything from soap to lotions to lip balm, and we even offer business classes too. That's so awesome! And today, I'm going to be making bath salts, and I'm going to show you how. Yes! Bath salts are great because they soften the water, they gently cleanse your skin, they're perfect for relaxation, and they make wonderful holiday gifts. But Lori, isn't the holidays like three months away? Yeah, but I like to be prepared. Uh, of course you do. Isn't she awesome? She's always so prepared. First thing you'd want to do is choose your salts. And I brought four different types of salts for you to look at. The first one is just um, basic sea salt. Uh, it comes in different grain sizes and it's nice and white, it's easy to color. Uh, it's pretty inexpensive and uh, it's probably the most popular type for bath salts. It's the same sodium chloride that you find in your salt shaker, except these undergo a slow evaporation process to form larger crystals. So unlike table salt, it doesn't need any anti-clumping agents because the large irregular crystals mean that they don't stick together. So the next type is Himalayan salts, and these have a beautiful natural pink color. They're a little bit more high-end, more expensive, they're really popular in the culinary world, and uh, to me they make a beautiful addition to any type of bath salt. The pink and red color comes from iron oxide. This is the same stuff that makes Mars red. How is that for a spacey fun fact? The next salt is Dead Sea Salt. And this is a type of salt that you would want to choose if you were making a therapeutic bath product that was good for treating skin conditions. Uh, it's a little more expensive and it's also imported. Now normally you would think all salts are great for seasoning, but this one has high levels of magnesium and calcium and, ugh, oh, yuck, which makes them taste bitter. Ugh. No wonder they use this for therapeutic purposes only. The last type of salt is Epsom salt, and Epsom salt is really easy to find at a drugstore or a grocery store. It's extremely inexpensive, and it's commonly used to treat aching and sore muscles. Right, I have a great holiday tip for you. Mix four tablespoons of Epsom salt with one cup of beer, wait for about 30 minutes, and then sponge it onto your windows, and do you know what you get? Fake window frost. This is perfect for a little holiday cheer, even in sunny Southern California. So I chose two different types of salt out of the four that we looked at. Uh, regular sea salt. Okay. We're going to go ahead and add two quarter cups or one half cup. And we're going to use that beautiful pink Himalayan salt, two quarter cups of that. So you get your salts into the bowl. And the next thing we're going to do is scent it. I chose an essential oil blend today of three of my favorite oils. It's going to be 25 drops total. We're going to use 15 drops of lavender. Mmm, that smells so good. Nice and relaxing. And then we're going to add five drops of rose geranium and five drops of sweet orange. So. You get all your essential oil drops in there, and you just start mixing. The more you mix it, the better the blend will be. So if you were going to color it, you would just want to make sure and choose a skin-safe, cosmetic-grade colorant. Okay, great. So this is if you wanted to do something like make it Smurf blue. Exactly. Awesome. Another thing you can do to kind of make it more interesting, if you want, is you can add botanicals. Okay. So these are calendula petals. They're nice and soft. These are lavender buds. These are jasmine flowers. And these are larkspur petals. If you are going to use those, it's a good idea to package your product in a bag that's going to contain those herbs so that they don't get all stuck to your skin and that they, they also don't go down the drain and clog up the drain. So we're not going to use an herb today. We're just going to leave it nice and natural, just the pink and the white salts Great. scented. And once you mix it up, we can package it. 
I like to use plastic jars just because they don't break in the shower, but if you're careful, then you can use a glass jar. This is a, a bale jar. Oh, wait one second. I've been working on this craft. Can we use this? Oh, that's so cute, of course. All right. That's perfect. Open it up and take off Mr. Unicorn. All right, we'll just scoop some in here. Go. All right. And throw the cap back on. Let's see, shake it in here. There you have it. Bath salts with the power of baby unicorns. If you want to get the recipe, then come visit me online. Or if you want to check out the Nova Studio classes and find out more, go to their website. I don't know about you, baby unicorn, but I'm going to go take a bath.